From my teens until my early 20s, I had no less than 100 deep cystic pimples on my face at all times. Compared to pizza face acne, this might not seem too bad because that is literally thousands and thousands of zits covering your entire face. But isn't it more of a yes or no thing? Do you have acne impairing your confidence, your social skills, your employment prospects, or do you not? I ended up taking Accutane and it fixed my acne initially, but then I had to do a second round of it. And even then, a few years later, my acne still ended up coming back. If I knew now what I knew about diet, not only could I have fixed my acne, I could have solved all the problems related to Accutane that I've been suffering from. The reason I actually had to get LASIK eye surgery was because my eyes got so dry from taking Accutane. I have to constantly use chapstick when I didn't have to use it in the past. I always have dry mouth. I'm always thirsty. I have some form of Crohn's or IBS where I can't digest carbohydrates anymore. The issues I've had from Accutane are an understatement. It is truly a terrible, terrible drug. Maybe I will do a video on retinal palmitate in the future and the dangers of Accutane. What I'm going to focus on today is what I've observed in fixing my acne. Each one of these things can be the sole issue. So keep that in mind. If you don't have all of these things in check, you can still break out. Although there are definitely ones that are more significant than others. And there are pretty much guarantees to get acne here for some people. Removing inflammatory foods that you're allergic to or that cause high levels of histamine response in the body. So this might be a dairy allergy, an egg allergy, or it could just be a histamine intolerance. So dairy and eggs can cause high levels of histamine response in the body. And there are fermented foods that also cause high levels of histamine response. Cured meats, charcuterie, any aged foods. Meat in the supermarket is also very high in histamine because it literally sits on the shelf for two, three months before you get it. So the removal of inflammatory and high histamine foods for me is a definite preventative for acne because I remember one time I had some fermented cod liver oil. I had a cystic pimple on my face three hours later, no exaggeration. Increasing the vitamin A content of your diet as well as the iodine content are two very significant things I've noticed. Through foods like liver, seafood, to get your vitamin A and your iodine, those are things that have cleared up my skin drastically. Uh, I read a theory a little while ago that cysts are actually a result of iodine deficiency. I haven't tested that out yet, but what I've observed in my anecdotal experiments is that consuming a lot more vitamin A, retinol for your skin, and iodine will prevent acne. And this can actually also prevent acne when you're consuming inflammatory foods. When I used to eat liver with dairy products, it would actually prevent the breakout to some degree. Interestingly enough, vitamin A retinol is the animal form of what occurs in Accutane. So I'm sure that we could be treating acne with high doses of retinol animal liver, but we're just not doing it. Reducing food volume or fasting can also help substantially. What this does is it eliminates inflammation in the gut relating to the skin. And what I actually used to do was I would follow a lower calorie carnivore diet focusing on these very high liver and high iodine foods with one or two small meals per day. So I would literally eat, you know, four to 600 calories of liver and salmon roe and maybe seaweed for a period of a few days just to clear up my skin effectively. Hydration is incredibly important, especially for someone like me with a histamine intolerance because your body is trying to expel histamines constantly. And if you don't have the water to do that, you have potential to break out. I try to hydrate two to three cups of water in the morning. I try to hydrate throughout the day and then again at night. If I do this, it is a huge preventative in my acne. If I try to dry fast for a day or two, I will break out. So this might be an individual anecdotal thing for me, but from what I've observed, hydration patterns are incredibly important. Another huge important factor is getting enough sun at peak UV. This really helps heal my skin, and in this video what I'm demonstrating, it's really the key factor. I also use tanning beds, and if you wanna know more about tanning beds and the UV ratios and how they're the same as the sun, you can check out a video that I will post at the end here. Vitamin D3 ties in as well. Taking a quality 
vitamin D3 supplement to make sure you're getting adequate D3 levels every day will also help heal your skin. This in combination with the vitamin A intake will ensure adequate cell differentiation and proliferation. Uh, what this means is essentially your body's ability to make cells to heal the skin. If you don't have enough of these vitamins in your diet, your skin will not heal optimally. So this combination of the vitamin A, the vitamin D3, the iodine, the nutrients giving your body the ability to heal its skin, and then what the sun is doing is essentially recycling your skin and allowing it to peel and heal better. There are synergistic effects between all of these fat-soluble vitamins. It's important that we get all of them in our diet. Hygiene is another big issue for some people. I did a video on apple cider vinegar a couple of weeks ago talking about how people whose acne cleared up when they put apple cider vinegar on their face might have actually just been having lack of hygiene issues. For my skin, when I wake up, I take a cold rag clean, I wipe my face and I let my face air dry. That's all I do throughout the day. Uh, sometimes I do take a hot shower to open up my pores, but in regards to hygiene, the most important thing is that I sleep on a fresh towel or a fresh pillowcase every night so that the bacteria from my mouth does not get on the pillowcase. In addition to that, I make sure to brush my teeth immediately after every single meal. Right after the meal, I get some floss, I get a water flosser, I brush my teeth, I rinse my mouth with mouthwash, uh, I use my own products, so if you guys want to check out my Amazon shop for the water flosser and my website frank for the tooth powder, those are the products I use. I think it's very important to keep your mouth clean, to keep your face clean, but it's a minimum. I wash my face once or twice a day and I brush my teeth after every meal, which is usually once per day. Lack of sleep can also cause acne on its own, but what I've found is lack of sleep is a catalyst in a way to other lifestyle factors. Uh, maybe you're not drinking water and you're stressed out and you went to bed and you just tried to get a couple hours of sleep. So to me, if someone's not getting enough sleep in their life, they're lacking focus in other aspects of their life. Yes, a lack of sleep can cause acne breakouts on their own, but you can still prevent your acne with not sleeping enough if you adhere to all of these principles. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I actually fixed a cystic pimple blemish breakout in one day. One really interesting thing to note guys is when I used to pop my pimples, they would come back like immediately. They would come back two or three times after I popped them and they would get worse and worse and worse. Now, if I get something and it pops, it immediately goes away and heals in one day. So I got a really bad cystic pimple yesterday. I was eating some rotten meat, which could cause a histamine reaction. I wasn't hydrating as well as I should have. I was under a lot of stress. I wasn't sleeping on a clean pillowcase like I normally do. I'm not getting a lot of sleep. So there's multiple factors that could have caused this cyst on my cheek. Either way, pretty bad big cyst on my cheek, an unusual spot that I don't usually break out in. What I did yesterday was I put a drop of iodine on it as an experiment and it actually absorbed through the skin and made it much, much darker and black. So I'm compelled to believe that iodine has some sort of property in that regards. But either way, I have this huge dark blemish on my cheek right now. It is Saturday, March 16th. Saturday, March 16th, and this is not like makeup or fake, guys. I don't, this is not, I'm rubbing this as hard as I can. This is a, a blemish, a blood spot, a pretty bad cystic pimple that was there yesterday. I'm going to show you guys how well the carnivore diet heals your skin. In a matter of two to three days, this blemish is still going to be there, but it's going to be negligible. And I have a feeling four to five days from now, I'm not going to have any mark on my face whatsoever. So now the blemish is pretty much gone. Guess what day it is? Sunday, March 17th. Just to recap, I had the pimple on my face Friday night. And I popped it Friday night around 5 or 6 p.m. So before, since it wasn't really irritated at all, I didn't really have to cover it up or wear makeup. So the only period of time I had anything negative on my skin was from Friday night to Sunday afternoon. Literally the span of about 48 hours, but technically one day.
because Friday night I popped the pimple. Uh, I actually put some iodine on it before and then that irritated it. So I decided to use a needle to extract whatever you know fluid was in it and it came out. Uh, Saturday, I didn't do anything. I just went to the tanning salon on Saturday, had a normal meal, took some iodine supplements. Sunday, today, I just woke up, I hydrated. Uh, I went to the tanning salon around noon. But before I went to the tanning salon, I noticed that the blemish was a lot drier and usually it takes, in my experience, I thought it was gonna take another day for it to become dry and peel off. But it was ready to be peeled in only a day. So I peeled the blemish off before I went tanning and it was pretty much clear. Uh, the skin was a little pinkish as new skin, new, newly healed skin is. But then I went in the tanning bed and I came back here. So guys, I literally fixed a cystic blemish from a zit in a span of one day. The reason for this is the nutrient density of the carnivore diet allows tissue to heal as optimally as possible. Vitamin D3 on the skin, especially from the sun, also stimulates blood flow through that area. Cell differentiation from the D3 intake, very, very important for healing skin. To me, this is amazing considering I used to have to wait months, months, months for my blemishes to go away. It's really a testament to this diet. So the introduction and the end to this video is likely going to be done tomorrow, Monday, the 18th of March. So you guys are going to be able to see the complete progression from Saturday to Monday of how quickly my skin heals. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have, you know, the popped pimple on Friday, but it didn't actually look that bad and I didn't think it was going to cause a blemish. Uh, so I didn't bother with, uh, I didn't bother with filming at that time. Back last Friday was when I had the initial breakout and the blemish has been clear on my face for the past three or four days now. Uh, it's really an understatement at how important this clear skin has played in my life, especially the appearance that I'm portraying now on YouTube. And it's really one of the reasons I started branching out and doing things in my life I really wanted to enjoy doing. So I hope these tips help you guys out. If you do want one-on-one -on -one consulting in regards to fixing your acne, you can reach out to me through the website below or via email frankatufano at gmail.com. This would constitute you sending me your diet and lifestyle and me critiquing and pointing out exactly what foods might be causing or what might be causing the acne. And then I will make suggestions based on what you have access to for what you should eat. Uh, on my Amazon shop, there's also some seaweed, there's some iodine supplements, there's some cod liver. All of these things can be used to clear up your acne in certain circumstances. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, there is my Patreon below. That is a great way to get personalized question support as well as support me. I'm on Twitter, guys. I'm on Instagram. Definitely some funny pictures you guys can check out. If you do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, as I said, via email on the website below in regards to overall health, not just improving your acne. Outside of that, you guys enjoy the rest of your week.